last time we left off here where we get the input from our user. So let us now actually program our game logic in order to guess the number and try to win the game. So for that we need a couple of variables. First we need a private integer and I'm going to name it num and this is going to be our number to guess. And here we need a private integer again and this is a guess number. So this is the number that the user will guess and we are going to compare the two if they are equal. And we also need a private integer to count the try guesses. So here I'm going to say private int count guesses in order to know how many guesses took the user to win the game. And also here I'm going to create a serialized field, a private text. So text, not text editor, and I'm going to name it text, which is going to be this text right here. So guess the number and we can simply attach it right away. So I'm simply dragging it and dropping it here in order to attach it. So what we are going to do in order to get the input from our user or in order to set up the game, here in our awake function, what we need to do is we need to assign a number to our, well, number here. So here we can use our number, we can say for example 100, and this is the guess number. But we don't want to assign it like this, because each time it will be 100. We want to randomize it so that each time the user runs the game, he will have a different number. For that, we can use the random.range class. So here we can type random.range and we can specify two numbers. So let's say zero up to 100. And this is going to be the number that we are going to guess. And random.range is used, well, for programming a random behavior in our games. So this will return a number between zero and 100, not including 100, so between zero and 99 exactly 100 numbers and I'm going to use our text and I'm going to use text doc text text excuse me is equal to and here I'm going to say guess a number so guess a number between 0 and 100 so this will give our user a hint well from or how many numbers do we have now here where we are getting our number i'm going to remove this debug.log and i'm also here going to create a void function so void and this is going to be well compare guesses compare guesses and here this function needs to well have a parameter which is going to be an integer and i'm going to name it also guess so what I'm going to do is I'm going to well use this guess number or this guess string pass it here as an integer and compare the two. So what we can also do is we can assign here our guess number. So guess number is, so let me just type right. So guess number is equal to our guess. But what we can also do is we can remove this and we don't actually need it. So I can also delete this number here. So we can only have this number here and we can have count guesses. So that's up to you. Now inside of this function, so here I'm going to call our compare guesses, so not compass, it will be compare guesses function. And we need to pass an integer. So this is this guess right here. But I cannot pass it like this because this is a string and we need to pass an integer. So we need to convert our string into an integer. For that I'm going to use int.parse and pass our guess as a parameter. This is going to convert our guess, which is a string, to an integer. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair, compare the two. So here I'm going to say if our guess is equal to our number, meaning we won the game. So I'm, I can use text.text, .text, so not alignment, text.text, .text, is equal to, and here I can say you guessed correctly the number was so the number was and here i can append the number so here i can say guess and this is well practically we win the we won the game excuse me here i can say else if our guess is less than our number what i'm going to do is i'm going to say so your guess is less than well the number to guess so here we can say you or your guess number is less than the number you are so you are trying to guess and this will inform the user that our number that we entered is less than our number that we need to guess 
and here I'm going to say else if our guess is greater than the number. So I'm simply going to copy the text and paste it here. And here I'm going to say your number is greater than the number you are trying to guess. So we are ready to test this out. So if I go back here and we see that we have one problem. So what is the problem? Oh, okay, I've added this extra well bracket, which we don't need. So now we can test this out. As I said, if I run the game, we see guess a number between zero and 100. So let's say I enter 50. It says your guess number is greater than, so it's greater. Let's try 25. So our number is less than. Okay, let's try 35. Our number is less again. So let's try 45, number is greater. So let's try 40, our number is less than. So let's try 43, your number is greater, 42. And we guess correctly, the number was 42. In the next video, we are going to count our user guesses and prompt the user to, well, play the game again when he guesses correctly.